I posted a question in my community section on my YouTube channel. If you guys didn't get a notification for that, you probably don't have my notifications on in the channel. Highly recommend turning on the notifications so you don't miss when I post things like this. So I asked the community, are you excited for the Nogath update in AQ3D next week, which is of course going to be this week. The response was after 677 votes, Yes, 46% said yes. Yeah, 7% who said no, not looking forward to it. 31 who don't care. And then 16 who say meh. We're going to go over some of the responses here. But before I get to that, I wanted to mention that on Twitter they posted happy Monday. Here's what's cooking. And then it showcases what's coming this week. The Nogath finale. Finally. With a level cap increase to level 45. So it's only going up one level for those of you who were wondering about that there's going to be new capstones not sure what this is going to be called but maybe fiendish capstones or who knows we'll have to wait and see but new capstones is in the works this friday a new creative contest which they do quite often upcoming we got frost veil the oracle class in-game mail and housing some of the responses when I asked the question, are you excited for the Nolgath update in AQ3D next week? And we got some responses here. Yes, can't wait to see if I'm going to be disappointed or be really happy with the update. Yes, of course I'm excited about this. I've been waiting for this update for a long time. I wonder what the term long-term plan is for AQ3D or if there is any. It's like they're spinning too many plates and I don't know what they're even trying to make anymore. It was supposed to be an MMO you can pick up and put down. This whole Nogath saga has been one grindy suck fest. Maybe it'll end well, but it might already be too late, especially with the attitude they've taken recently. Huh. That's an interesting, interesting way. This person said, yes, more grind, less story. It's like they're trying to balance a true game while staying relevant with current pay-to-win game trends. Hmm. I am so freaking excited, man. Hyped as heck. So that's going to be, he's really looking forward to it. Took way too long and then said it was because it was going to be so good. I think it's going to be more grinding quests that is actually mind numbing. I don't know. It's, it's very obvious that the community is not looking forward to more grinding it to the extent of what it has been before. So... I don't know. I think we'll have to wait and see, but all Nolgas quests were grind hell. This last one probably isn't different. Kill 100 mobs here and there. Go talk with an NPC. Kill more mobs. And when you finish the quest, boom, kill a ton more mobs to farm items to get a gear. <laughs> that actually is kind of, I mean, that, when you sum it up like that, it sounds worse than it really is. But I, I understand the um, where you're going. Nolgas is a grind, always has been, but it could have been tweaked more definitely. So this person is not really looking forward to it, but also I never expect anything extra from any games or updates, so never disappointed. But I am waiting for it to be live and hope it won't lag. I basically took a break after completing Ravenspire and Nogath Part 2. Nothing kept me invested. Okay, well, that's understandable. This person is really looking forward to it with a massive yes. I really don't know what should I do right now? There's nothing new. And that is the problem that a lot of people have been facing recently with lack of content. If you told me they hired another person to work on the lore of the game, I would be excited. Better if they replace some of their current one. So I don't know actually who's working on the lore side of things right now. Like, I don't know who the quest designer is with the story arc and stuff but some of the story has actually been really good if you pay close attention to it some of it really sinks it's it's not probably up to par with what we're expecting when we've seen things like ashfall or something like that but it i i mean i've been enjoying the story as it is the major problem one of the major problems that i've had with the lore side of things was the fact that it just wasn't Nolgathy enough. I didn't find that it it gave the Meltonius vibe that was in AQ Worlds. So I, I'm not really sure if there was anything they could do to change that. But one of the biggest updates we'll have this year, and I, I got to agree that will be it will be the biggest update probably that we've had this year. You need to have a category saying, yes, if it happens. <laughs> Maybe I'm burnt out on a simple mobile MMO, but I haven't been excited about AQ3D since the first Nogath release. Wow. Well, maybe this one will change your mind. We'll have to wait and see. All good things come to those who wait. 
hopefully. <laughs> I'm excited, but I would be more surprised if it was really next week, not next year. Oh, okay. Well, that's... We have been excited for it, just motivation is dying. If they keep delaying it, watch there be another delay and we won't even get the full release. It'll be split into two parts. That would suck, to be honest. To be honest, Nogath 3 is a meh at its best. And not because of the massive and unforgiving grindfest we had with Nogath 2, but due to the complete downhill derail in writing quality compared to the first installment. Really? Saladin Forest was a very nice addition in the lore department. It presented the Inferno in a very charismatic way without being intrusive or completely random. Nolgas 2A, while it had a cliffhanger finale, its entire run was grind-based, which removed the focus off the characters involved in the story. 2B was a disaster story-wise and an even bigger grind-fest. 2C had practically no story behind it and everything is completely grind-based, so there's really no stakes or value in the new area map, since they all were decoration for the monster killing. In short, they turned Nolgath into glorified dungeons. Hmm. Nolgath 3 is irrelevant to me at this point. There was no characters or lore or fanfare left for any of us to be involved. Just the equipment, which once again will be irrelevant a month after its release. Whoa. That's very insightful feedback thanks for uh thanks for sending that i hate celadon forest the main quests are uninteresting and the red sky is is lore wise canon but it hurts my eyes this is something that the red tint in celadon forest was a problem i didn't actually mind the story in the thing but i i, I didn't it didn't give me the nolgath vibe i was expecting but it was a good story our excitement died down for real it's almost a month and they don't even have a good filler for events for the daily, like, come on, these making people quit. We got scammed over five weeks for the Nalgath last part, so we start to not care. Only want to hit level 100 and get the best gear for those levels, and after that, collect cosmetics, and that's it. So, uh, while you are true, we did have to wait quite a while for the Nalgath, for the last part of the Nalgath, but we got to remember that the prior to the delay because of thanksgiving the second delay that they had was because of the community and our feedback on what we were expecting the finale to be so the reason why it's been delayed so long one of the reasons why it's been delayed so long is because they went back to the drawing board to make it what we're going to be expecting what we have in expectations to it so that's part of we're partly to blame for the delay in a sense but it's in a good way. In Hanzo set, to be precise. Oh, so looking forward, you're looking forward to the Hanzo set. Okay. This person says, nah, not looking forward to it. It will probably be some over farm, which I don't ever do since the Phoenix Blade of Nalgath 2. Ah, okay. I retired for a long time because I don't like Nalgath farming. And also I want new classes and stats in the game. Somehow it's not even really important in PvE. I mean, with the whole scaled system, I understand what you mean. It took me a long time to grind out the gear that I wanted. I'm still working on my tainted Phoenix Blade of Nalgath. They better not add new best in slot weapon. I think they probably will. It, would, it wouldn't surprise me. Tainted isn't even best in slot since the Doom Axe came out. I know, and I needed the Tainted to get it. <laughs> I just don't want to have to kill Nol Nol uh, Noxus 10,000 times. I don't do the Noxus run. I just, I can't. It's too much. So this person says, yes, they're looking forward to it, and they don't care because it took too long to update for the Nolgath finale. This person said, I stopped playing this game years ago. A year ago. Wow, really? Should give it another go, maybe. Maybe there's more stuff in there to keep you entertained. Excited because it is finally, it will finally end. Tired of seeing the long farms. Okay, well, I mean, that's kind of meh. Probably more insane grinds. I hope they do something about people who don't have the time to play the game, you know? Like the weaker weapons they put on the Forge map were where we only need soul gems. Okay, so weapons for those people who don't have the time to put into grinding the, the hard stuff makes sense or drops that's that's one thing that i'm really hoping that they they did say there will be a lot of drops though this person said they're scared i'm excited to see how it will be delayed again <laughs> 
I don't care because Boleyn can't handle AQ3D. What are you talking about? Boleyn handles AQ3D amazingly. Game has been dead for a while. Not many people play. They're just cash grabbing for their next game. Actually, any of the money that is made with AQ3D definitely goes back into development and the maintenance, I mean, the maintaining of the servers. Money that AQ World makes, however, is probably going to fund AQ World Infinity because it makes sense. It's the same game, sort of. It's a new game, but it's based on the old game. I just want Anomaly removed from Shadow Reaper. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. What, is for another week? <laughs> Can't wait for it to get delayed again and replaced by another boring filler. Don't like it, the previous Nogath saga. Okay. Hype died long ago. What makes you think the Grindfest will stop from there? It won't. They never fail to disappoint the players. Ooh. Lost the hype and the excitement, to be honest. Not interested anymore. So that was the feedback that I got on this. Thanks for sending in the feedback, guys. I am definitely excited for it. I have no idea what it is going to offer in the end, but I am hoping that it is going to be a successful release. That is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging. Thank you.